guys, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Visions. Welcome newbies in betweens and OGs. Give your girl some dap, boo, cause you the dopest and we know this, okay? All right, we're gonna tap in again for some more messages that will give you clarity, confirmation, inspiration, or just guidance on your situation, okay, babies? I am so thankful every every time that you support, you click in, you resonate, and it is a helpful source for you or helpful reading for you. All right, babe, so let's see what is going on, okay? What is the scoop? This could be your energy or your person's energy or whoever's in your energy all right what's going on so we have codependency someone is codependent on your energy someone is codependent on you okay i'm hearing family members i'm hearing love situations even friends like people lean on you to pay their way People always asking you for money. People are always coming to you with their problems. Like I'm hearing, it seems like you are, I'm hearing the problem dumper. Like everyone dumps their problems off on you because you're wise, because you give great advice. Because even if you just say something out of the blue, it normally resonates with someone to, I'm hearing help them solve a specific problem or to answer something. So the scoop is, is that you have either one particular person, a couple of people, or a lot of people that are dependent on you. You could be taking care of a sick relative as well, all right? And I feel like you're tired. I feel like you're tired of doing it, okay? And you're about to cut, or you already have cut a lot of these individuals out of your life, okay? But I really feel like you're about to cut this or these individuals out of your life. You're about to get, you know, whoever you're taking care of, could be a mother, a father, a grandmother, grandfather, you're about to put them into a nursing home or it is suggested to do so that you can live your life. Let's see what else. So we have tarot card reading. Someone has been getting tarot card readings, okay? So I feel like whoever is codependent on you, whoever is heavily reliant on you they don't want you to go anywhere all right and i'm heavily feeling like this is a love interest or this is friends okay uh, or someone doing this sneakily behind your back someone is getting readings to see if you have figured out for a lot of you that this is not your your person this is not the one for you Others are getting readings to see if you're going to leave them eventually because they have insecurities, low self-esteem, um, and they don't want you to go anywhere. Now, others are getting readings on you because they're cheating. They're doing manipulative, sneaky things behind your back, and they want to keep leaning on you, whether this is emotionally or financially. I'm hearing even like learning from you but never having the attention in the long run to really be with you, to marry you, to have you as a lifetime partner, okay? And if they even do so, it's because you have a prolonged benefit for this person, okay? So you could also be a tarot card reader and you make a lot of money from your you know, tarot card readings, or you are, you know, gaining more subscribers, more followers, your money revenue is going up. And this person is looking at you more and more like, they're just going to depend on you. If this person has a job, eventually they're going to wind up either making an excuse like, oh, I, I don't really want to work there anymore. They worked me too hard, or they're going to quit out of the blue. And then you're going to wind up taking care of this person. Okay, or if this is a sick family member, this person could do certain things as far as eating better, right? Going for walks, and this is not a terminal illness. Um, they can do things, I'm hearing holistic, okay? Even going to the proper doctors to help themselves heal and get into a better state, but they like relying on you. 
Oh, man. And then you also have people that see that you are going places and they want to ride off of your coattail. Mm. Let's see what else. But they're definitely getting readings because they don't want you to go anywhere and they don't want you to figure them out. Gratitude. Show more gratitude. And I feel like in the past, even up to this day, all of these people or this particular person that you've done a lot for, you've been over backwards for, you've given your last dollar for, you have sacrificed plans and much, much more for this individual or these people. And they haven't shown you, for some of you, an ounce of gratitude. And for others, they're grateful, but they will never let you know that. Now, for others of you, you're dealing with someone right now that could have lost their job. Um, their unemployment could have ran out. They're kind of down on their luck. Or someone's going to come towards you that you're really gonna like or that is gonna befriend you and something bad is going to happen to them. And they're gonna become down on their luck and they're going to be codependent on you. And you, like I said, you could be a tarot card reader or this person loves looking at tarot card readings. And maybe they could have targeted you because they knew or know that you have a lot of money or they could have got a reading on you to see if, you know, you hate them for the fact that you have to take care of them. Because the truth is they're so grateful for everything that you've done for them. Grateful, okay? It's two different messages here. See what else? Romantic thoughts, okay? Having romantic thoughts about you. So someone that is either in your energy that is trying to romance you, that is romancing you, you know, all up in your energy, all up in your space. Now I'm getting two messages. This romantic partner may fall ill or may have a, I'm hearing repairable injury and some non-repairable. And they are really going to need you in this time because not only are they going to have a complete, a complete life shift, they're going to need you for their mobility, to help them, to financially help them. And if you can do so, and they know it's a lot and it's a burden, because you might also have children either by this person or by yourself, or you may not have any children. But the thought, this person is like, but the thought of having to solely lean on someone else wholeheartedly makes their heart heavy. It makes them sad. So they're getting readings to see how you feel about them. Are you still in love with them? Do you mind helping to take care of them? I'm hearing this is not going to be a forever thing. This person is going to learn how to be mobile. I'm hearing using artificial arms or legs. Um, they're going to gain feeling back in their legs, in their, um, here, their spinal cord. They're going to get healthier. The treatment is going to work, whatever treatment. Okay. If this is some form of a husband, a wife, you know, a long-term partner, they're terrified that by them being in this vulnerable position, do you hate them? Are you going to cheat on them? Do you still love them? Okay. Now, if this hasn't happened yet, this is just a warning that this may happen in the future. So just be prepared if this resonates. But um, for some of you, I'm getting this is already occurring. Like this person had a bad accident, could have gotten ill sick, lost limbs, need to regain um, feeling by going to therapy. They're wondering, you know, if you constantly driving back and forth, like literally doing everything for them. Are you tired? Are you burnt out? Do you hate them? And that's what I keep getting. Because honestly, they don't know what they would do without you. They have no freaking clue. They don't.
And at the bottom of the deck, we have caution. They look at themselves as like, you're going to eventually leave them. So I just need to prepare myself. It says proceed with caution. I need to prepare myself and, and, you know, because they look at you as everything. Like you're beautiful. You're handsome. You have everything this person wants. And unfortunately, this occurrence is going to happen. This could be karmic. Or this could just been a wrong decision and then an accident happened. All right. Whether this is occurring right now or it is going to occur in the future. Spirit is saying warning, warning, warning. Like loud and clear. 911 is what I heard. And I saw 1122 on the timer. Okay. So you have a family member, a husband, a wife, a long-term partner, baby father, baby mother. All right. Someone a friend even for some of you guys that is going to fall ill or it has or is going to succumb to some type of injury and they're going to need your help they're going to be hella codependent or they're going to lose their job they're going to have nowhere to go nowhere to stay and they're going to be grateful that you lent a hand but they are doing um readings on you or, or getting readings to see how you're feeling because this person really doesn't want to be a burden. Like, this person doesn't... Does, this is the type of person that hates to ask for help. But I don't know if Spirit is putting them in this position so that they can learn the lesson to start to ask for help. This is a harsh lesson. But sometimes it gets through better when it's a harder lesson. Um, if it's a family member, they love you so much. They do. They love you so much. But then you do have this, you know, energy for some of you guys that you have someone that's codependent because they see that you're going to be very successful or you are very successful within your own business or within a business that you work. They do love you. They are grateful, but they don't plan on doing anything with their life. Okay? Let's get one more. Christmas, something significant about this holiday. So I'm hearing that a altercation may happen on Christmas. Okay, like this person is going to feel so guilty, so burdened, so weighed down by the fact that they may think that you don't like them because you got to do everything. Like you're resenting them. You're feeling negative towards them, but it's only their projection. It's only that projection. Like I said, this person doesn't really like to ask for help. So when they do and when they need to lean on people, they feel like they're a burden. Um, for this person also, they could have lost their job or they're trying to find their way in life. They're soul searching. They're trying to make a better decision to where they can have a lot of money or a lot of stability or feel comfortable in life. And right now you may be the breadwinner. And I'm, I'm hearing from now to Christmas, it's going to be a lot of projection. Maybe arguments, jumping to conclusion, altercations, I'm hearing. Spirit is saying, just be calm and, and bring love into the situation because this person is going through it. And once they come out on the other side, not only will they be grateful for you, but they're going to pay you back. They are. They're going to pay you back, babe. For some, they're going to get arrested and they're going to need you to send them commissary and they're going to rely on you. I, you know, I'm just letting you know what's going on and what I'm hearing and the, and the storylines that I'm getting from spirit. And it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Now, this is a side message for some of you. You could be a tarot card reader and your person tried to step out on you, but you caught them. And I'm hearing friends, coworkers, or someone around them that they told this to was laughing right in their face. Because they could have thought that the grass was greener by trying to flirt or deal with someone else because you're a reader, you're intuitive, right? You're clairvoyant, you're clairsentient. You get a lot of dreams, a lot of messages. So this person can't get over at all on you. Like this person probably tried to be codependent on you while they wanted to go out and pretty much act like they're single. Pretty much you're the breadwinner and this person was acting like they're the shit. 
they got all the money. They're the man or they're the woman. But they're codependent on you the whole time. On top of flirting and possibly cheating, and you figured it out. You, your ancestors, your spirit team, God, your angels, Arishas, deities that covet you, they won't allow anything to get past you. Because you're not doing anything for this person to cheat on you or manipulate you or do you this way. So this person could be getting readings on you to see if you know whatever secrets or whatever they're doing. For some of them, they hate the fact that you're a reader, that you're clairvoyant, that you are gifted because they can't do what they really want to do. So they'll pretty much keep performing in your face, acting like, you know, you're, what, are you, what are you talking about? Your readings are wrong or your predictions are wrong. You don't, why do you always use those cards? Or you know, why do you always do that? Basically gaslighting you to make it seem like you're wrong, but you're right. You're absolutely right. Your intuition is right. Every time you flip those cards and you listen to a reading that is meant for you, it's right on point about this person and they don't like it. A lot of them are looking at tarot readings in regards to you and it's saying that you're leaving and you're never coming back. And this person is terrified because they didn't appreciate you. They didn't romance you. They didn't show you gratitude. They just relied on you and the gifts, the energy that you gave to them. Selfish. This is definitely for someone you could be living with, you could be talking to, or you stay over their house for a long time. Like I said, this could be a family member, a friend, um, a grandparent of some sort. As far as the grateful part, the friend is the grateful part. You know, it tatters when it comes to love because it could be someone that is grateful that is going through a hard time right now. And then you have this cheater that hates the fact that you are psychic and you have heightened abilities and this person can't get shit past you. And truth be told, they hate that shit. They really do. I feel like the grandparent, the friend, a coworker, and some of you, the person that you are in love with is so grateful that you are there with them. But then you have someone that is codependent because they have mommy issues, daddy issues. Like they have addictions and they don't want to let these addictions go I'm hearing so they're trying to be smarter than you this particular lover that's codependent that's cheating that wants to do what they want to do and that's going to be pretty much figured out from now to Christmas they've been trying to pretty much I'm hearing one up you or stay 10 steps ahead of you by getting tarot card readings but they're still behind you and they're still causing chaos and conflict, not only within themselves, but with you. Because you, you, you know what they're doing. Okay? For some of you, you're praying this person will change. And for others of you, you're out of here. Okay? Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Chop wood. Okay? This is pretty much clean it up, but grounded. Okay? Spirit is saying through this time of helping, whether this is a grandparent, your parent, a friend, um, whether this is your spouse that is going through a hard time, any type of illnesses, you know, any type of, you know, I'm hearing body dysmorphia or dismemberment, just ground yourself. Okay. Four and two is six. This person really loves you. Six is also nostalgia. So they're going to think about all the things that you've done for them through this time. And when 2023 hit, or even Christmas, they're going to give you, I'm hearing, wow, a grand gesture. Wow, they may even propose. If you ain't married, they're going to get you something big. And I'm, wow, I'm hearing this grandparent is going to rewrite their will and to leave their inheritance to you. Because nobody else wanted to help them out. God bless you, y'all. God bless you. Bottom of the deck, truth be told. I'm telling the truth. But also because you have an open, giving, loving heart. Oh. 
you change people's lives even i'm hearing damn on their deathbed are you a nurse or a cna of some sort as well but you create a lot of change in people and you help people through the changes that they're going through and this is why they're going to open up not only their heart but they're going to be able to i'm hearing give you a financial boost that will give you a brighter view you see the window is open but also you are the energy that you give this is beautiful sweets so through this time to stay grounded once you figure out or you constantly figure out whether it's through tarot card readings or someone letting you know but i feel like it's through downloads and tarot card readings and readings you probably give your own self about this person that they're no good for you just stay grounded everything gonna work out 11 on the time everything gonna work out you have people that are already romantically wanting to compete for you and that will be grateful towards you that will be interdependent and not codependent and i feel like it's all going to start towards the new year starting from now to christmas towards the new year okay for new love if you're letting go of this person that is heavily codependent on you and that has heavy addictions okay sorry y'all if i be having um different positions <laughs> with this cameraman but it'd be people calling me in between okay so you're definitely going to get a emergency phone call from a family member a grandparent um, a hospital an ambulance okay um a nurse i'm hearing a unit nurse okay about your husband your wife your partner about a friend that has no one else but you um a, like i said a grandparent a parent of some sort okay but i'm Getting one more message when it comes to this chop wood. The person that feels like they're going to be a burden to you if they heavily rely on you for everything, which they don't have a choice, okay? This person, once they come out of this illness or once they regain their balance, once they are better, they're going to marry you. They're going to make you theirs. They're going to ground this relationship. And they're going to show you every single day how grateful they are for you. They're going to give you roses and kisses and compliments and whatever you want for riding with them. This is going to be, I'm hearing, a big factor. Unbeknownst to you that this person is going to use to marry you, to be with you long term, to be dedicated to you. Okay, especially if... This is a friend that always had feelings for you or hides their feelings. Or if this is a new love and then all of a sudden something bad happens, but you're the only one there. Or if this is your husband or wife or long-term partner that has been pretty much unappreciating you. And then God pretty much has you be the only person that they rely on. Mm. Again, it's up to you whatever you want to do, but yeah. That is the message, babes. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, my babies. Bye.